Hey everyone, we're going to complete these tables and then graph. All right, we have two problems we're doing on this one. So we go start it, and let's first um, complete the table. So um, I'll just do the table this way for now. X, Y, we have negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1. And we've taken our y equals 6x plus 2, and we're just inputting our x. So we have y equals 6 times negative 2 plus 2, y equals 6 times negative 1 plus 2, uh, y equals 6 times 0 plus 2, and then we have these going down y equals 6 times 1 plus 2 and y equals 6 times 2 plus 2. Then we just fill in the answers. So this one's going to be negative 12 plus 2. That's negative 10. This one's going to be uh, negative 6 plus 2. That's negative 4. This is going to be 2 because 6 times zero, uh, 0 is 0. Uh, this one is going to be 6 plus 2 is 8. And 12 plus 2 is 12. So let's fill that in. We had negative 10, negative 4, 2, 8, and 12. This was a 12 here. All right. Now, I think we're going to graph it next. Now, let's do the next one. So the next one, what I want to do is um, rewrite this. It's going to make it easier. So I'm going to rewrite it as uh, slope-intercept form. So I'm going to take x minus y equals negative 7. I'm going to add y to both sides. So you get x equals negative 7 plus y, then I'm going to add 7. So you get x plus 7 equals y. So then you can rewrite it as y equals x plus 7. Now in this case, our table is a little different. So let's do that. x, y, negative 4, negative 2, 0, 1, and 2. And then you just plug everything in. So y equals, and our first one is negative 4 plus 7, y equals negative 2 plus 7, y equals 0 plus 7, y equals 1 plus 7, and y equals 2 plus 7. And these are the um, x values here, negative 4, negative 2, 0, 1, and 2. Now all you do is add these up. So this is going to be 3, this one's going to be 5, this one's going to be 7, this one's going to be 8, and this one's going to be 10. Alright, and now we just graph these. So let's graph them. You can just graph them by the the table you're given here. So for the first one, I'll graph it. Uh, at 0, y is 2. At 1, um, I'm going to do negative 1. At negative 1, we had y equals 6 times negative uh, 1 plus 2, and that equals negative 4. So I'm going to go uh, at negative 1, it's negative 4. Now, when you graph linear equations, you really only need two points to graph. So I'm only graphing um, my negative 1. Whoops. <coughs> I'm only graphing my negative 1, comma, uh, negative 4. This is negative 4, negative 1. And I'm graphing my 0, comma, 2. And once you 
have your two points. Two points make a line. You just connect them. And it's kind of hard to draw in here, but you just kind of connect it and do that with the table. Okay? And the next one we had um, y equals x plus 7. So when x was 0, y was 7. And when x was negative 2, y was um, 5. So I'm going to go and graph those two points. Here's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Here's negative 2, and we're at 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I just connect the graphs. You can graph all the points if you want. It makes your line straighter. Just remember that two points make a line. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.